welcome to this video yeah it's um, close to close to Christmas and I feel more like relaxing than um, working too much on uh, on videos so what I'm going to do is to um, yeah to do some blitz kibitzing hoping for some interesting games um, I mean these kind of videos are always fun to do for me and uh, not um, not much preparation or, or any nerve-wracking uh, play by myself required. So the first game um, I pick up here uh, right in the middle is um, between an international master. Let's check Alexei Kiryev, all right, um, from Russia um, against a German grandmaster um, Fabian Döttling is a very strong GM with 2, 5, 70, 80, 90, something like this. But he's not a professional. He um, has a regular day job, as far as I know. And um, yeah, still pretty amazing um, strength for, for, for a pure amateur. Okay, so um, what do we have in this position? Black has got an extra pawn. He won this with some tactical tricks on the queen side. But um, it's not at all easy to convert. It's just a double B pawn. And um, White's pieces are quite okay. He doesn't have an additional weakness somewhere. So it will be difficult for Black to, um, to play for a win here because the pawn is pretty much worthless. Um, yeah, White is spending um, lots of time at the moment. I'm not so sure why. I mean, knight takes uh, b4 looks rather normal to me. I don't know what uh, what else um, he is considering. Server announcement. I oh, still have the sounds in. <laughs> Always forget to uh, to turn them off. I hope they are not um, coming up too too often. Okay, bishop b5 plate. And now, I don't know, probably um, just a king move, king e7, king f7, something like this. This pin is annoying. Bishop d7 um, is not so good, maybe. Yeah, it's a five minute game, by the way, um, five minute, and they um, spend really lots of time on those uh, initial moves. Probably take now on b4, and bishop d7, something like this. Complete the development, or maybe bishop d7 um, immediately. So also not too bad. I really wonder about the time. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty, pretty, um, yeah, simple position, and they spend really a lots of time. I mean, I'm, I'm also always uh, good for spending useless time, but <laughs> but um, still with other players, uh, it's, uh, it's quite amazing here. You, black GM here after 19 moves uh, has spent four minutes and only a minute for the rest of the game. And it's uh, probably a long game. Yeah, white is also taking his time. I'm not sure if you if you get in B4, it, it's nice, but I'm not sure that you can manage. So um, maybe I would have retreated the rook. I'm not sure. Yeah, black now has all sorts of moves. Maybe rook C8 or something. Hey, I guessed one right. <laughs> okay, bishop g3 is sort of uh, a nothing move uh, with a little time. Okay, yeah, black gets off this uh, this bishop on d7. And now if black manages to 
exchange the bishop on a5 for the knight on c3, then he will have, um, yeah, I think, pretty decent winning chances. Because uh, this knight in, in this kind of um, blocked, closed position should be a very good piece. c4 would be a nice square for, for this piece. Yeah, now black has gotten the a-file. I only wonder about the time. I mean, he's still spending lots of time. This will get tricky. f5 now, yeah. Fighting for the d5 square. Yeah, black is completely winning. Knight d5 coming. On g5, f4, and so on. The position is uh, is pretty much uh, lost for white, but time-wise, it uh, it will get get tricky probably. Knight d5 um, also means that white probably needs to play rook b3 to exchange rooks. Yeah, or this passive passive setup. Yeah, maybe black even manages. White is even even slower. Check. I mean, yeah, the the black player is an excellent bullet player. I mean, he's not not slow <laughs> in general. He can he can step it up. Yeah, now he does, and um, is even ahead on time now. And it's a winning uh, a winning minor piece endgame. Three against two on the king side, and you got uh, simply the better piece at the moment. And the knight is just more flexible in this structure. Oh, it's, it gets tough on time. White suddenly got uh, got very quick, but Check. probably not uh, not quick enough. Check. Check. White forfeits wow. on time. <laughs> very very close finish at the end with the. Uh, 79 hundredths of a second. No, I did uh, did press follow. Uh, this is cool. I mean, the the German player here is just really good at um, at blitz. So it's uh, he's got a very very um, positional, strategically profound style. Okay, e3 against the Grunfeld is not exactly uh, the most aggressive line, but maybe it's a uh, not so bad to um to to vary against this opening. Yeah, black seems to be a little bit confused about this. At least he spent some time. Normal would be to just castle and then uh, probably play c5 to open up um the long diagonal. You can also play um yeah c6. I wanted to say. Yeah, now this is um, very similar to Catalan opening, just with reversed colors, and white is having an extra piece, CD5, I think. It's questionable of, uh, does black have enough compensation here? It's not, uh, that not that's not clear to me at all. I mean, the tempo um, might mean something. C takes D5, yeah, exactly. What is black doing now? Well, quite often you uh, you can sacrifice such a pawn. At least in the Catalan, you you often can. Check. Yeah, bishop d two. Check. And this uh, leads to just an extra pawn for white. Yeah, this was uh, this wasn't the way to proceed. Yeah, queen takes c five. I think just rook c one and. Uh, it's uh, difficult to to say how how black should uh, save himself. Yeah, queen f5 and then knight d4 and bishop b5 curtains. Yeah, and this will be this will be played. Yeah, and resigns, I think. Knight c6 you can just take knight c6 and uh, and white wins a piece and everything. Yeah, this is also okay. Uh, I, I probably would have taken with the knight, but black this is, resigned. This is also very, very forceful. Yeah, and black, black resigned. Yeah, this is uh, interesting with a very, very um, modest continuation. White got uh, a good position quickly. Maybe 
this uh, this play by Black was was too um, too aggressive. What Black can always do is uh, just castle first and delay the c5 move. The idea is certainly all right, but you're not actually um, forced to play it immediately. You can first castle. Okay, White after castles here could take on d5 and play bishop c4 at the old Karras line, but uh, still castles should be should be okay. All right, so um, I'm still following this uh, the white player, but he's not playing at the moment. I'll, I'll have a quick look if there are some um, some other interesting interesting games. I've got a new one. Oh, a German duel. <laughs> yeah, the white player is international master Kramer from from Berlin, and um, I think um, I maybe I'm not quite sure if this is correct. Even he's got everything together for the grandmaster title. It's also rated above two thousand five hundred. So um, in in Elo, I mean, in, in real rating. Okay, we've got an advanced Karakon. And knight c3 is uh, the sharpest variation, sometimes called the Vendeville or Shirov variation. Yeah, a6 is um, a cute sideline. The idea is if white goes g4 now, what he would have played against e6, then black has got still bishop d7 in reserve. And this is simply a different a different position. So after g4, white, um, yeah, yeah, bishop d7 now. And the idea is now to play e6 and c5 and um, yeah, just claim that this is uh, a decent French with um, yeah early expansion on the king side, which is more weakening than um, than helping white. But um, okay, this is um, certainly a viable approach for black, but. It's hard to believe that this should be should be the best really with a6 and bishop d7, but uh, it has been played by a strong um, by strong uh, grandmasters, I think even by Karpov and Arnand, not uh, regularly but uh, they they employed it. Okay, h5 broke up the the king side, but now Black um, had re has recaptured with the rook, so he can never castle short. Okay, maybe he never intended to, but um, now it's uh, definitely out of uh, out of the picture. And uh, yeah, black played c5, getting counterplay. You see that black is um, somewhat behind in development. And um, this is one issue with this uh, setup, of course. It, uh, it's very time consuming. White, however, had a misplaced knight on c3 and uh, he rerouted this to, to g3, which also cost to, to Tempe but allowed to play c3 to um, support the center. Yeah, here black um, is, I think, in a little bit of a dilemma. He doesn't want to take on on d4, opening up the c-file early. He would like to play knight c6, probably, but then white would, uh, I think, just take on c5 and enjoy an extra pawn. So it's not clear what uh, black should do now. Yeah, at the end he, he took. Yeah, what you like to do is to exchange the light squared bishop, but I don't know if bishop b5 is maybe just too slow, not sure. The bishop b5 white also might consider just to play bishop g2, and um, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is um, the yeah the sensible move, just get, getting out some pieces. Black also. Um, can consider to play g6, of course, to um, prevent f5 in the long run. Okay, on f5, black now can just take, but f5 is the yeah the principal to um, break in this position. Uh -huh, interesting. Bishop b5 still the idea. Another idea could be to reroute this knight 
C8, B6, C4, this kind of uh, maneuver. Yeah, bishop b5 is, uh, was the plan at least. I don't know. I would play, I think, g6 now. I would, I would be getting nervous about this f5 move. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, it's, it's not a real threat, but I think... Um, it's probably a good idea to get rid of it. Maybe maybe knight f5 here. Yeah, taking on f5 gf is not too bad. The h pawn um, is not promoting so quickly. It will go to h5, but um, h6 is firmly covered. And now uh, the center is completely closed. Maybe black has got ideas now of knight c6 and then a5. This kind of uh, plan. Or a5 immediately, but then maybe a4. Hmm, not sure. I probably would um, prepare this. Bishop c4 is also also an idea. Uh huh. Well, this is interesting. Okay, yeah. Maybe he's uh, planning knight c8 to b6. I mentioned this idea before, but of course, as long as the uh, the queen is on b6, it's not possible. Yeah, knight c8 would be the logical follow-up, but uh, maybe a4 then. Yeah, now another idea would be b5, but black, b5 and then a5. Yeah, should black um, should white take on c4? He didn't. Yeah, knight c5 looks uh, normal. Hmm. Not sure why um, white is not playing this. Okay, bishop d3. Yeah, now probably a5. Breaking up the queen side. Yeah, black looks fine, but the position is still, still very complicated. There's uh, all kinds of missteps <laughs> possible i guess they always consider that both kings are potentially weak not at the moment uh, they're both um, secured by by own pawns and this pawn chain in the center but um if um the position opens up both kings can can get in trouble yeah but now white um, simply has a problem with his uh, queen side he certainly doesn't want to take on a5, and uh, yeah, this this gives up the b4 pawn. Yeah, I think black should now just take it. Yeah, this is um, a very, very big advantage for black. He's got everything nicely covered. The bishop on c4 is, uh, is strong with pawns on b5 and d5. And um, he can activate pieces on the a-file. Moves like uh, queen a5 or just pushing the b-pawn are coming. Yeah, the b-pawn maybe, or bishop b4 is also strong. Yeah, black has um, a completely winning position by now. He just uh, attacks the d4 pawn and now maybe b4. Yeah, the time is of course a, a big concern. And 
Check. White has uh, launched the, the, the H-pawn to A7. And um, <laughs> Bishop E2 actually, uh, I think, wins the queen. It doesn't have any squares. But okay, it's it's easy to tell from the yeah from the from the side <laughs> without the the time pressure. Yeah, black black is still I think just winning. Maybe just you know, to queen g four. Oh, this is stronger. Just take it. Check. Hmm, this knight is still uh, slightly irritating. Oh, the time, check. the double check, but um, check. it's probably uh, not dangerous. Five seconds both. <laughs> check. Uh oh. Check. Check. Black forfeits on time. Yeah, a shame. I mean,. White was completely uh, completely dismantled in this game. He didn't have uh, any chance, but black was just um, just too slowly, just too slow. Okay, and he, he left the server, obviously, <laughs> slightly annoyed about this game. So let's check uh, what else is uh, what else is uh, on there. Um, We have um, a three-one game. Two grandmasters um, playing here. Disintegrator is from uh, this is Serbia, right? From Serbia, and officer here is from um, Azerbaijan, right? Farid Abbasov, two five something elo. Okay, so uh, let's um, check what's going on in this game. It's a 3-1 game. And um, we've got equal material. White has some um, space advantage on the queen side. The knight on a6 is somewhat uh, somewhat strangely placed. But white also has some, uh, some, some bad pieces. Bishop on d2 is not too great. And um, he's played f4, which um, of course prevents any e5 move, but also weakens e4 and g4. Okay, the question is, um, what can white do against um, the knight on a6, which is really um, the problem here. So, um, I don't know. Uh, what what exactly is white doing now against... Um, Against knight takes e5. Oh, this is interesting. The queen doesn't have any square to prevent knight takes e5. Yeah, knight takes e5. Or oh, I'm uh, blind here or something. Ah, okay, white can take uh, c7 probably. Maybe you can make it, maybe you can play c6 first. C6, rook somewhere, and then, um, okay. Yeah, the same the same idea, knight takes C5 now. Yeah, white somehow uh, tangled himself up a bit with, with his pieces. And um, yeah, now black has won the C5 pawn. And he can play knight E4 because D2 is hanging. So he gets, uh, gets it back, the piece. Yeah, now black is just a pawn up. And... Um, He's got uh, this great square on e4, so black should have um, a clear advantage, unless white um, gets c7 back quickly. Yeah, this looks good. Queen b2 or something, activating the queen. Oh, what's this? Ah, rook c7 is the idea. Interesting. But there's uh, there's a check on b1 also. Check. Knight c1, and now it's just rook f8 and over. Okay, 
yeah, white continues a bit, but this is just um, just a piece for for nothing. And fifty seconds is uh, is enough. The position is also quite um, yeah quite easy to play. Yeah, rook a two. Uh, okay, I need to be a bit cautious. Yeah, this is good. Check. Check. Yeah, this is a mob up job. Just just take everything and White resign. Just be careful that you, you don't get checkmated on the back rank. This is could this could happen. <laughs> okay, so uh, who's who else is on there? We've got um Oh, 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 let's let's have a look. I'm looking at uh, a very long list here of uh, of games. Oh, this is a, this is a very high rated match. Um, Golden Eagle as black. We had him before, winning in somewhat uh, lucky fashion against uh, against um, Grandmaster Dudling, and um, White is resigned. Seth. <laughs> It's a nice name. It's a pretty new account. I don't know who this is. It's not in. It's not in the finger notes. But he's got two two thousand seven hundred thirty on the five minute uh, rating pool, which um, pretty much means that uh, he must be a very strong GM. So okay, what uh, what do we have here? We have um, a Trompovsky. Check. And uh, White is banking on his uh, good development, but uh, Black has got two bishops. And um, frankly speaking, I think Black should be should be in good shape here. The question is, yeah, a six, probably a knight a three. I don't see any any other move. And then just take king e seven. The question is, then bishop takes f seven, but then maybe Black just rook f eight, rook f two. Yeah, this is the thing. Take on a3, king e7, and bishop f7 is answered by rook f8. Yeah, and this means that black is uh, is just better here. He's got uh, the better pawn structure, and um, there's no yeah. This is just just a bad move. Why open up the position with black getting on the second rank quickly? Okay, this was the concrete idea. Okay, yeah, maybe this wasn't so bad. <laughs> e five uh, is hanging. I don't know how to how how to protect this. Hmm. Yeah, I think black cannot protect it. I mean, maybe it's not. It's not uh, so. Um, so much of an issue. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Looks a bit tricky. Check. Yeah, black gave up this pawn. It's um probably not uh, not a big deal. I mean, the bishop on c6 is fine and the rook on f2 is fine attacking on the second rank. So maybe it is not uh, not uh, terrible for black. He will get um, get a pawn back very um very likely. I would like to know who this guy is. I do I do a quick quick background check if uh, there is a site that um, can help with these questions. Let's see if uh, if it got any information about this. Resign Seth? No.
Oh, no information about this. I have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> okay, so um, let's uh, check the game again. Black um, has gotten back a pawn on h2. Check. And um, still retains this active rook position. And uh, very s this this uh, configuration is uh, on the queen side is just very good. You might lose the c pawn, but the bishop on c6 keeps everything together, and uh, black can try to attack the f5 and g4 pawn. Um, and also you can just play uh, king king to d6 to uh, to cover the pawn. Yeah, maybe rook g8 then. Hmm. Yeah, black can always give checks on h2 and so on. If um, and, uh, maybe, hmm. yeah, I'm not not quite sure what. Uh, what black should do? King d6, rook g8. Yeah, maybe give some checks, but the checks. Um, White can just advance with the king, and I'm not quite sure um, how black should uh, defend the g-pawn. Yeah, this is uh, another another way to go. Just play maybe g6 now. Get rid of the pawns. Rook f7, yeah. Yeah. Mm, rook f7. Ah, he overlooked f6. Mm. Yeah, and this pawn promotes, unfortunately. Yeah, very tricky play by white. <laughs> now promoting uh, this pawn. Yeah, no idea who this guy is. It's, he's got the Spain flag, but this is... Um, completely um, yeah random I mean you can set up your flag uh, how you just uh, how you like it and uh, he could be from from Spain but also from I don't know Antarctica or something everything's possible um, yeah but uh, he's probably very strong grandmaster okay so, uh, but okay the game is uh, not completely over um, I just uh, saw that these two pawns, oh, you can still you can still try as black, but the bishop usually is a good piece to to stop pawns. And black is just uh, down to fifteen uh, seconds, so um, this shouldn't be shouldn't be um, a problem for white. Yeah, just take on g two, c seven, and this thing is uh, promoting. Rook g eight, rook b eight, and over. Check. Check. Yeah, of course, black is black is still giving a couple Check. of checks, but just c8. Check. Oh, no, c8 would have uh, <laughs> gotten two checks. Black but, resigned. Yeah, he just, <laughs> just in time, he resigned. Yeah, okay, maybe try to follow this re resign self guy. So, always a shame if you don't know who this is. I mean, it could be anybody, but... Uh, it's uh, obvious that he's uh, he's very strong, but uh, I don't know who it is. Let's look at the history. He's got 19 out of 20 in the last game, in the last couple of games. Yeah, and if you look at this here, you can look at the history. He's always playing, uh, let's say, half a dozen games and then, then leaves. So, um, and uh, how many did he play today? Four games, won, won them all. Three minute, one minute, three minute, five minute. Okay. Yeah, maybe um one or two more games would be would be nice. I'll wait for let's say max maximum half a minute and uh, if he doesn't start a new game or gets a new game with the with the five minute or any other pool, then um oops. <laughs> Got a call here. Um, okay, so let's let's look. Is there? Ah, okay. Oh, this is cool. A new three-minute game. Um, Resign Seth against Yardbird. 
This is Grandmaster Eric Lobron from originally from Germany. He's got this Estonian flag. I think his his um, girlfriend is from Estonia. Okay, so let's see what uh, what's happening here. We've got a sideline, a queen's uh, queen's pawn opening, and um, black um, quickly attacked the the, the knight and um, occupied the center. White probably will play knight c3 and e4 to open it up and get some play in the center. Hmm, okay, maybe still e4. Then no. Uh, takes on c3, takes on d5. Okay, but this is certainly okay. Bishop e3. Yeah, black probably needs to return to d8. Ah, okay. Yeah, why not? Why not? Queen d8. Um, wasn't the most active move ever. Yeah, well, white has got um, somewhat strange, uh, strange pieces here. On uh, on b3, c3, and e3, you, you you really need to play e4 or c4 to open open the position. And um, yeah, maybe just drop back now. Knight c5 wasn't really a good. Yeah, or well, let's say it, it doesn't spoil anything, but you also don't have any big benefits from this move. Yeah, white now at least got rid of uh, one of the strange pieces that I mentioned, and now you can play e4 next move and actually have a slight advantage. At least a slight advantage because you're opening up the position, especially for the g2 bishop, and um, this way should uh, should be somewhat better. Black has uh, this somewhat sorry piece on c8, while white um, was trying to open up the diagonal. Yeah, this is um, now a concrete issue. Well, how about uh, how to de defend the d4 pawn? Yeah, probably just knight c5. And um, a, a possibility is to continue with knight d3, and then f4. This kind of, this kind of setup. Hmm, f4 is aggressive, but what about uh, knight g4? Knight g4 to e3 looks um, looks um, tricky. Yeah, Lubron is a very um, the black player is a very aggressive player. Always need to be very cautious. You, and I played him I don't know <laughs> so often over the years, and uh, you, um, you 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 can be sure that you will find some interesting uh, tactical possibilities even in the the strangest of positions. Sometimes he just um, yeah plays uh, plays strange and strange stuff, and this is worse. But it's very. Oops, I'm getting a call. Hello. Uh, no, no problem at all. And uh, let, let me call you back on Skype. I'm just doing a video. It's uh, no, no, no problem. <laughs> I call back. I call back. It's no big deal. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just got get a funny call here. Um. Yeah, I really should uh, turn off uh, the the phone. Yeah. In the meantime, <laughs> White White has won the game. Uh, I'm sorry about that. But uh, yeah, what happened here? Somewhat, somewhat uh, drastic. Oh no, we got a new game. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope you. Followed this um, on your own, so to say. Um, I got um, I got this call that I need to take. I didn't didn't know who it was. So um, yeah, we got a king king side fianchetto here. Maybe um, going for um, king's Indian, and uh, this is three minute and three minutes. He's got also close to two thousand six hundred. Against Grandmaster from Israel. Let's let's check quickly. Uh, Maxim Rothstein, 
He's also two six something guy. Okay, we've got um, a kingside fianchetto and uh, with e seven and d seven knights. It's not the greatest of uh, setups, but okay, it's a blitz game. Knight g five was interesting, but um, knight g five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, White somehow doesn't want this move. Knight g five, I thought would would be uh, would be a good idea. Knight f six, take on e five, take on d eight, and knight b five, stuff like that. This is one drawback of this knight position. So knight g6, yeah, strengthening uh, the e5 point and uh, intending to play f4. Yeah, this um, yeah, this looks a bit shaky for black, to, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe knight f6 and then bishop h6. But um, okay, this is the kind of position that looks shaky. But if white doesn't um. Yeah, use any of this in the next couple of moves, then black can easily um, be better even with the center. Yeah, I mean, maybe black is fine. You can just play um, c6, yeah, exactly. c6, queen e7, queen e7, g7, stuff like that, and then decide uh, queen e7, probably. Okay, for, or first this. Um, yeah, maybe this is better. You're not, you're not quite sure where the queen belongs. But now you've got uh, got many ideas. You can play knight e5 at some point or just complete development. Bishop e6, rook d8, all good natural moves. But okay, you can also think about direct, uh, direct moves. Or maybe e3, for example, can be an idea. Yeah, e3. Yeah, this can get um, ugly very quickly, like fe, queen takes, and then f4. And, uh, well, all black's pieces are on the king side, and white has got a rook on a1, and, and so on. I mean, not exactly helping uh, the king. Yeah, maybe f4 or something? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not, not too bad today with guessing all those... Moves maybe knight g4. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good with guessing. Yeah, this is this is terribly dangerous. I mean, maybe maybe even winning f2 is uh, just a a huge threat. And you've got knight e5, bishop f5, and so on. Yeah, white simply um yeah got kicked around here in this game. Yeah, queen f3 is checkmate even, and uh, not sure how to prevent this. Yeah, queen f3 mate. I mean, <laughs> this is uh, this is a real, a real beating. White resigns. Yeah, no move. Uh, I see no move. Move to 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 cover this. Yeah, very strong play by black. And very um yeah very forceful I mean no uh, it doesn't look like um he, he he didn't stand any chance in this game okay let's hope um this resigns of guy plays uh, plays another game I'll wait uh, thirty seconds and uh, if it if a new game hasn't started then then I'll choose some some other one. Yeah, um, this will be the last uh, video before Christmas. It's one day before Christmas today. And over Christmas I have some things to do, visiting family and things like this. So I probably won't make a video. Maybe if I'm home and uh, I have the time, I'll do something quick. But certainly not um, some longer 
videos that uh, require lots of time to produce. All right, so a new game, Resign Self Against Horse the White. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've got um, the Tromp again. I don't think um, this guy has something in the profile. Feeder rating, no feeder rating, 2100 USCF, but oh, very good three minute rating. So it's probably good at good at blitz. So um, we have a gambit. He played f3, e4, and this is uh, quite similar to the to the black Madima gambit with d4, d5, e4. But this looks uh, looks much better in comparison. White white is just a bit quicker, and black has this server quite <laughs> quite weird knight on d6, which uh, hampers development. Yeah, and um, h5 is a threat, of course. Yeah, f6 is, of course, very, very ugly. Just long castles now. Yeah, and then something like, let's say, g5, bishop h3. And um, yeah, black has, um, black has real problems. This is just a fantastic compensation for the pawn. Yeah, probably it's it's a g5 bishop h3 looks like the normal way to proceed. Yeah, activating this bishop. Okay, this is also very direct. Maybe h6 coming or g6. Yeah, this is um, probably even. Even better than neither uh, than bishop to h3. Yeah, okay, g6 is not possible at the moment, but all right. Now this move, yeah. What 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 should black play even here? It's uh, cannot really um, go. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. This is playable. Just take on f6. Okay, yeah, this is just the the positional <laughs> way to do it. Just block on e6 and black will never ever develop. This threatens bishop d6 and queen b7. Also h6, uh, g6 is threatened <laughs> and oh god. Yeah, this is this must be this must be over. Cannot believe uh, black is able to defend this. Yeah, I can just um, yeah, ninety five and at e seven next move. If there's not, you can also take on f six. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, multiple multiple wins. Yeah, take on g seven is the easiest. Oh, this, yeah, whatever. Every move wins. I'm a bit surprised that Black is not resigning, actually. This really doesn't make much sense. Check. Black resigns. Yeah, now it's a rook down. Rook e7, queen c6, and take on e7. White has just an extra rook. Yeah, the position after like 10 moves was just uh, overwhelming. This is much more than um, enough compensation for a pawn. Yeah, how did this um, happen? Let's look briefly. Uh, this move, okay. And then e4. Hmm. Yeah, probably you, sh you should just go to f6. And... Um, I don't know. I mean, this, hmm. yeah, this this might be enough for a pawn. The way he uh, he played it was very quickly more than enough. This is uh, now tricky. Okay, so let's um, hope for another game.
yeah, this guy is really exceptionally, exceptionally strong, at least at, at Blitz. It's a very strong GM, probably. All right, let's um, have a look at um, the video length of the box on, on 50 minutes. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm not sure if he will, will start another game. If I wait. Um, I'll, st I'll start another one here. Or let's say I switch to another one. We've got uh, Golden Eagle here again against Arm Composer, I think. And if Robert Hoff Shanisian, I think he's um, two six something, you know, yeah, very strong GM. And we have a very uh, double edged position out of the Moroxy bind where Black took on C3. But um, he's got strong pieces on B7, Knight on C5, and potentially uh, the Rook on G8 can be used against um, the White King. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, given the the choice, I'll I prefer prefer this guy. Let's let's close the other. He was just too impressive in his other games. So playing against the German international master. Let's have a look. Jürgen Pichler. Yeah, I don't know him. I mean, I know the name, but I don't know him personally. Okay, so we again have some kind of kingside fianchetto, and uh, yeah, this um. Shouldn't be too bad for black. Got um, the blocked center. Black has uh, the opportunity now to play bishop h6 if he wants. Yeah, getting rid of the, the bishop. It's not clear that this is always a great idea. From a pure um, strategical point of view, um, this is the bad bishop, but sometimes it has uh, really useful roles. Okay, but uh, still black has a, a good a good structure now. Yeah, he's um, playing this um, castling by hand, and now probably a5, a5, knight, c5, or maybe some some moves on the king side first to prevent white from getting a too good position. Okay, first win a tempo on e4, and then probably a5. One problem with this kind of a5 setup, if you want to go this like this, Check. is um, that it is solid, but it it's not um, the kind of setup that helps you to open lines against the king. It's very passive in a way. It just holds the queen side. So he, he didn't he didn't go for this. Yeah, h5, but black intended uh, h4. Okay, is he really going for b5? I don't know. B5, white can play C5. Yeah, black is um, banking on a king side attack. Queen C3 is a threat. Easy to see, though. Okay, he tries to get uh, d6 back. Yeah, black has a somewhat weakened uh, pawn structure, of course. c6 and a6 are weak, but he's got uh, a strong bishop on e6 and he's got the b-file. So, um, this is certainly, um, I would say, easier to play for black than for white. Maybe the position itself is uh, not such a big deal for, for white. Uh oh, bishop takes a2 now. It's uh, is a big threat. The queen is not protected on e3. This is um, a problem. Uh, but maybe bishop a2, king a1. White resigns. Hmm. Yeah, I think this uh, this wasn't necessary, really. Is there? I don't, I'm not sure. Is there some threat? I mean, okay, you you let's say here. 
how does um how does black win now if you sure. if you go here you can just play this and the king the queen is hanging and the and the bishop is hanging so the queen moves then oh, you can go here but it is trapped right yeah well maybe he didn't he didn't see uh, something um, yeah okay this is difficult but you can play rook c2 instead of resigning this is the only feasible move anyway probably rook d2 maybe no i don't think i can i can take this back now <laughs> okay yeah okay so some entertaining games by this uh, mysterious guy here and he's still uh, locked on, so maybe uh, we see another game. I'll just uh, I'll just do the do his games until he locks off, and um, maybe complete a one hour video. Why not? Yeah, the point I was uh, trying to make here in in this kind of position. If you play a five. Which looks uh, nice to to get uh, this knight secured, then you ha don't have uh, much chances to open up the the queen side for counterplay, and uh, though you're looking looking fine strategically with the good bishop and um, and this this knight which looks looks nice on c5, you don't have any uh, any concrete uh, way to sure. proceed. He was playing for b5. In this position, he realized, I guess, that b5 is answered by c5. And this is why he played this move, threatening b5 to... Um... Ah, okay, nice matchup. So we've got Arm Composer, this, um, this guy from Armenia, against um, our mystery player. <laughs> and again, some kingside, Fianchetto. Okay, we've got f4 coming. Oh, e5 is, uh, I think, rare. Knight f3 is uh, the overwhelming main move. I don't know what's what's going on. Oh, okay. And I think now, is this the position where white can play h4? Yeah, probably what black has castled. Yeah, I don't, I don't know this opening. It is very sharp, obviously. White has pushed an early e5, but black has got counterplay with c5. My first impression without um, really knowing this is that uh, this looks a bit like white has overextended. Um, how does he keep a center now? Queen d4, knight c6, I don't know. Or queen d4 castles and then knight c6, maybe this is even better. How does he keep um, this pawn on e5? I don't know. Maybe he confused something. Okay, but I I really don't know. Don't know this uh, this opening. Maybe we are in some theory, and uh, I don't know it. Okay, knight g five was just answered by castling. Maybe maybe e six now. Hmm. Knight c6. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, my suspicion is that this is uh, just incorrect for white. But in a blitz game, you never know. It, um, it can be. It can be dangerous. Black black looks uh, fairly fairly solid to me. Maybe knight d2 e5 attacking the bishop. Yeah, probably bishop b3. You don't want to give up this this piece. This is the the strongest attacking piece. So bishop uh, b3 looks looks normal. Does it have a serious drawback? I don't know. Yeah, queen a5 probably. 
now bishop b3 Maybe knight g4, something. Hmm. Yeah, bishop e6 looked uh, strange to me. White couldn't take, I guess, but this was a bit uh, happening a bit too quickly for me to, 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 to understand. Okay, but um, what's going on here? Black has got an extra pawn. Let's uh, start with the simple things. And he's got uh, this, this knight on e5, which covers um, f7 very reliably. Yeah, this, this knight on e5 just uh, keeps the whole position together. Knight g4 looks looks strong to me. Attacking this this bishop and then maybe if it leaves, uh, let's say to c1 or something, knight d4. Attacking c5, b5, and so on. Yeah, don't know where to go. Bishop f2 looks very, very, uh, yeah, without any idea. Yeah, this black player is a very tough customer. White well, didn't have uh, the slightest chance in this game. Yeah, I hope it's um, it's a real human player. If you got this kind of uh, complete uh, destruction games, <laughs> you sometimes ask yourself, okay, is this a human playing? So unfortunately, a sign of the times. Yeah, you can just just grab on f2 and maybe take b5. Is, is there a threat? Uh, okay, maybe take a 96. Uh, okay, this is this is strong. If you, yeah, he just covered f7, and now if the knight moves from b5, there's uh, bishop d4 winning the queen, and this is just a piece. Queen knight d4 and b5 or b6 or something. White looks, resigns. Uh, looks completely winning. Yeah, yeah, complete thrashing of uh, the white player. I don't know. It looks it looks like. This is um, probably a top fifty player or something. Very good, very good. What is? It looks it looks very 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 good. <laughs> like um, the opponents have uh, zero chance. I'm not quite sure. It also, it doesn't look very computerish from my taste, but um, you 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 never know. But ICC usually has a pretty good a good um, anti cheating system. It's very rarely that uh, people can cheat for a long time there. Yeah, all right. This video is now more than one hour long. And um, yeah, well, I'm still curious about this guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe I'll uh, try to wait for one more game. But I definitely uh, finish this video um, if, he, if he is leaving. Would be uh, somewhat reassuring if he if he would lose the game. <laughs> Make sure that he's human.
yeah, two seven on on the five minute pool is um, it's really outlandish. It's very very rare that you see this. I want to have a quick look at this bishop e6 move. I don't. Um, can I? I yeah, I can I can enter examine mode, okay. Let's have a look. I, I want to I want to check quickly bishop e6 fe. Of course now the queen is attacked. And um yeah, where does it go? Hmm. This is so bad for white. I mean, yeah, the problem is how do you castle? Yeah, this is the issue. Black can can play um, just just like uh, no, something like this, attacking, attacking c two with a check. It's got this possibility. Of course, okay, need to be cautious. G six is um, is a pawn you you would like to protect, of course. But how um, is White going to get his king out of the middle? Not at all, probably. Something like this probably runs mm, into this move. Yeah. Queen g6 isn't isn't possible. Yeah, this was very strong. Bishop e6, killing off um, this bishop, which was uh, White's. Best attacking attacking piece, and this is a really strong move. I mean, you need to uh, be very alert to find such a move, because it's such it's, it's very counterintuitive to allow this this double pawns. But it's actually really strong. If you look, the, the f file is open. You control d5, so there's never any knight coming to d5. What's what's bad is uh, of course that e4 is um is an eternal post for the knight but uh, this is not important simply because the concrete factors are much more more important you've got knight b4 knight c4 all this stuff and how does white uh, defend probably not at all yeah very strong play yeah but he's not starting a new game unfortunately i'll check um what else is happening on the server Maybe I can can start uh, or look at um, I'd like to have some game which uh, isn't or exactly on move sixty or something. <laughs> Maybe I'm We've got uh, here Renegade against Arm Composer. This Renegade. <laughs> Supposedly a 13 year old Canadian. Raswan Preotu. I don't know this person. <laughs> if he's really uh, that old, then 2445 is very impressive. Okay, um, what do we have here? Um, Black has uh, lost castling rights. Oh, he, he took with a d-pawn. This looks like, uh, yeah, well, what can I say? Just nonsense. Check. And um, here, black looks uh, to be in, in some trouble. Knight g4. Okay, okay, maybe it's not so bad. Knight g4, intense bishop c5. And h5, h4 now. Okay. It's probably not so bad. Yeah, maybe f5 now. Trying to exchange some pieces. Especially uh, this knight on g4, which is really an annoying piece. f5 and bishop moves and take on g4, take on d6. It's maybe not too bad.
Edgar White is uh, spending really huge amounts of time for this. I mean, it's a five minute game, not three minute. He spent more than four minutes um, up to this point, and this, um, the moves played before weren't exactly difficult. So uh, quite quite surprising. Okay, e5. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is a um, much more aggressive way to play than uh, the thing that I suggested. Maybe bishop c5. Uh, maybe bishop c5 here and then h4. This could be strong. Yeah, well, bishop c5 needs to be played anyway. I'm not quite sure what black is spending time on. Okay, maybe you take on e5, but bishop c5 looks just um, just normal. Check. Okay, now h4. With the idea bishop g4, take on g3. After h4, um, I think, I don't see what white is playing. Can take on f6, maybe. Uh, now take on, on g3, uh, g3, right? Check. Oh. Ah. Check. Yeah, this is this is even stronger. Now the bishop is just trapped on g3. I didn't see this at all. But the, the fun thing is that both bishops on g4 and c5 protect d7, e7, so white doesn't have a check. And uh, he doesn't have a move, really. White this, resigned. Yeah, he's resigned uh, just before he overstepped the time limit. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't get another game here by this um, resigned self guy, which was really uh, impressive to watch. Yeah, anyways, um, this is a 17-minute video now. So um, if you're watching this on, on Christmas Day while you're waiting for, I don't know, relatives to arrive or something, You've got some long video to um, to watch. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back after Christmas. Have a good time with your family and friends.